In this video, I want to explain a rule which I call the equivalence principle. And basically all this says is that the probability of data conditional on a parameter value equals the likelihood of that parameter value given that same data. So mathematically, this just means that the probability of x or the probability density of x given theta is just equal to the likelihood of theta given x. And this mathematical statement here is what I term the equivalence principle. Because if we know what the probability distribution is, then we can always work out what the likelihood is and vice versa. In fact, these are just two sides of the same coin really, but under slightly different conditions. When we vary the data x and we hold theta constant, then the object that we have behaves as a proper probability distribution, and hence we call it a probability distribution. Whereas if, by contrast, we vary theta and we hold the data constant, then we've seen that the object does not behave as a valid probability distribution. In other words, it doesn't integrate if it's continuous or sum if it's discrete to one, and hence we call it a likelihood to avoid the ambiguity because under those circumstances the object does not behave as a valid probability distribution. And the example that I'm going to use to explain the equivalence principle is just flipping a coin and we're going to denote the outcome of that coin flip by the random variable x which is equal to zero if the coin lands tails up and it's equal to one if the coin lands heads up. So in this circumstance, we can use a Bernoulli likelihood or probability distribution. You can use sort of either interchangeably to describe the sort of outcome of the situation. So we have the probability that x is equal to k given theta is equal to theta to the power k times 1 minus theta to the power 1 minus k, where k here is either 0 or 1. Now let's suppose that x is equal to 1. In that circumstance, the probability that x is equal to 1 given theta is just equal to theta. How do we work out the likelihood here? Well, the idea is we just use the equivalence principle. The equivalence principle tells us that that's exactly the same as the likelihood of theta conditional on x being equal to 1. Alternatively, suppose that instead we said that x is equal to 0, then in that circumstance we have that the probability that x is equal to 0 given theta, which is equal to 1 minus theta, so we're just working out the probability of it being a tails, where theta here I should have said is the probability that we obtain a head. And using the equivalence principle we can work out the likelihood of that outcome. So that's just the likelihood of theta conditional on x being equal to 0. And we can see here when we vary the data, so we go from x equals 0 to x equals 1, then if we sum together the two probabilities here, we get one. In other words, our object behaves as a valid probability distribution. Whereas if we were to condition on the data and hold that constant, so the sort of likelihood situation, so suppose that we condition on x being equal to one first of all, and then we vary theta here, then I've already shown in a previous video that what we have does not behave as a valid probability distribution because it does not integrate to one. And similarly, if we did the same when x is equal to zero, we would also find that it's not a valid probability distribution. So in this paradigm, when we hold the data constant and we vary the parameter, we do not have a valid probability distribution and we call it a likelihood. In Bayesian statistics, that is the circumstance that we come up against. We hold the data constant in the numerator of Bayes' rule and we vary the parameter. And varying the parameter means that the thing, which is a likelihood, we call a likelihood in Bayes' rule, and you can regard Bayes' rule as a way of converting an improper probability distribution into a proper probability distribution, which we call our posterior. 